much for inviting me here today to take part in the very exciting groundbreaking of the Lillian and Albert Small Capital Jewish Museum. Again, I'm Council Member Brooke Pinto and I represent Ward 2 on the Council for the District of Columbia. This morning, I stand before you really amazed at the tenacity and enormous effort made to bring life the vision of this wonderful museum dedicated to the history of Jewish life in our nation's capital and surrounding areas. I'm especially honored to join you here today in the days leading up to Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, and it is fitting as we look forward to the year ahead with new possibilities while also commemorating our past. I stand before you inspired by your commitment to preserve a people's story and share their legacy with all of our communities. We know that the Jewish people have a long history throughout the ages that spans centuries, traverses continents, and speaks in many languages. We also know the Jewish community has a long history in Washington, D.C., and throughout our country. And this museum is reflective of the long-standing tradition of social justice and civic engagement that is so fundamental to Judaism. The same can be said about the historic Aras Israel Synagogue alongside us. Over the years, this beautiful building has led a really ecumenical life, hosting several different houses of worship, including St. Sophia's Greek Orthodox Church, the synagogue building itself has also tra traveled over the decades since its founding in 1876, having physically moved three times until it found its final and hopefully permanent home as the centerpiece of the Capitol Jewish Museum. And I have seen the video of the building moving and it is quite spectacular and recommend it to all of you. The new Capitol Jewish Museum will explore the intersection of American Judaism and American democracy and serve as a safe place for dialogue across the diverse cultural communities of our city. The mission of the Capitol Jewish Museum is vital. I must say that I read with humility how the leadership of the museum so beautifully phrased their equity and justice commitments. Their commitment has made clear that consistent and deliberate efforts must be made to reverse and heal the legacy of racial injustice in this country. Given our nation's current toxic, toxic and diverse political climate, the message of the Capitol Jewish Museum of diversity, inclusivity, and equity has never been more important. Standing before this museum of history and education, I am honored to be a small part of this effort to build an inclusive, multiracial democracy to teach difficult histories and work to foster a truly just and equal society. To the museum's executive director, Kara Blonde, to Gil Preus, CEO of the Jewish Federation of Greater Washington, to Rabbi Lustig of the Washington Hebrew Congregation, to Imam Magrid of the Adam Center, and to my colleagues on the council and other distinguished guests, I say congratulations and Yashar Koach. Again, it is my pleasure to be with you all today and please have a happy and healthy Rosh Hashanah.